Hi, and welcome to Laura's View and Tara too. I'm really glad you're here. Today's date is Sunday, November 12th, 2023. I wanted to take a look in this video at a situation that is uh, happening as I record this. There has been a lot of seismic activity in Iceland in the last 24 hours. And there's, uh, of course, anytime there's unusual activity with our weather patterns or our earth um, cycles, people have questions and uh, concerns. And I'd like to review a few of those and we'll see what the universe wants us to know about what's going on in Iceland. Just a, a little side note, I, uh, as I thought about Iceland today, I kept recalling a little um, ditty that uh, we told kids to help them distinguish Iceland from Greenland. Greenland is ice and Iceland is green. There's a lot more greenery in Iceland than there is in Greenland and the names kind of can be a little bit confusing. There's other interesting um, information about that area of the world. So let's go to my compilation. I'll show you what I've got. And then uh, we'll see what the tarot cards want us to know. Now, if you're interested in looking at this compilation in more detail, I'll have a link to it. It's just simply a Facebook post that I compiled and then uh, the uh, um, comments contain some of the uh, links that I've got for you. So you can review them at your leisure if you want to, or just follow along as I do the video and glean what you can from what I share. It's all up to you. And in some cases, it's up to whatever the uh, um, ministries of truth of whatever in your country allow. Okay, that's part of the reason I started doing Facebook compilations so that I could share more links with you guys. All right, one second, I'll go to the share screen. Okay, now this is from yesterday. This here is a uh, just a screenshot of a lot of the activity going on in Iceland. You can see the magnitude is circled in pink. And normally we humans don't feel anything below a 2.0. If you live in uh, earthquake country, like I did for so many years in Alaska and California before that, you don't even notice it till it's above a three. But there is lots of activity going on. Now, if you are interested in reading about the situation, here is a uh, BBC article, so it's very mainstream, so nobody's going to uh, um, slap my hand for sharing it with you. Just of this, understand that a lot of the images that are being shown on the internet now about the volcanic activity in Iceland is not recent. They're digging up old footage. So if you do a little reading and comments and what have you, you can, you can find out pretty easily if it's current footage or old footage, which can uh, be misleading. So be aware of that. Even this picture here, I think, is one of the older ones. Now, I also found there's a YouTube um, creator that I am new to, so I'm not necessarily recommending him. But if you want to follow, click on this link, he's doing daily, daily updates about the Iceland volcanic activity and seismic activity, what's going on there. Now, one of the reasons that this has caused so much speculation um, with people about what in the world is going on is this. Here are, if you look here, here's, here's Iceland and Greenland. And there are a lot of doomsday bunkers located in Greenland. And the path to get to them goes straight through Iceland. So sometimes seismic activity is natural seismic activity, and sometimes it's not. And I think it's interesting that this uh, tunnel system goes underground right straight through Iceland to get to the doomsday bunkers. Uh, here's the Pope's, okay? <laughs> and if you'd like to see where I found that, you can click on this link here. Now, so another uh, Twitter creator, Q Mum, uh, was is kind of on top of this and following this. So that's another side if you're interested. Like I said, I want to come into this with a kind of an open mind because sometimes seismic activity is simply seismic activity. And sometimes dormant volcanoes do become active. But in our complicated world, I found very seldom does the deep state not try to capitalize on a potential disaster by augmenting it, making it more uh, severe, using it to uh, create a distraction. And so always look, now they're wanting us to look at Iceland and look at Iceland, and we will, 
but let's not stop looking at other uh, hotspots on our planet and keeping tabs on as much as we can with the uh, constricted information flow of what's going on in other places. Now, so my question to the universe is going to be this. Is there human a human element to all of these earthquakes that are being recorded? And I'd like general insights and information regardless about that situation, but I do, my yes and no question is, is there a human element to this? If so, what? But regardless, insights and information are appreciated. Okay, I'm gonna switch the camera, move a cat. <laughs> we'll see what the universe wants us to know about the situation in Iceland. By the way, they do have a city, an entire city that's about 25 minutes outside the capital that they have evacuated because they think if there's a, a any kind of a eruption, that that's where the lava flow is going to be. And I wondered, okay, is it because they're truly concerned about a lava flow? Is there tunnel warfare going on that's causing these uh, um, tremors that are being felt? Is it a combination? Uh, the MSM isn't going to tell us, but maybe the tarot cards will give us a little bit of a clue. Let's find out. Okay, again, we're just asking, is there a human element to the, the seismic activity and volcanic activity that is being felt in Iceland with hundreds of quakes in the last 24 hours? If so, insights and information are appreciated, but regardless, insights and information are appreciated about the situation and what's going on there. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Chariot, Eight of Cups, lots of Cups, Six of Cups, the Devil, King of Cups, okay. I will share with you the insights I'm getting from the cards. We'll talk about some elements for that uh, kind of bolster what I'm saying. And then uh, we'll see if there's a little more insights to be had. Okay. Now, what I'm getting, with, especially with just looking at the overall spread here, we only have two major arcanas, which, you know, doesn't speak to a truly majorly significant topic, but definitely, you know, it's it's got value. Or So they've shown up. And uh, but not disproportionate to the uh, the deck in general. The um, so things are moving and shaking. The chariot shows up when there's some moving going on, and usually when there's some kind of a uh, um, dark and light element to what is happening. Often this is my one of my white hat cards, the uh, more high energy type of uh, emperor energy. So that's showing up in the recent past. So there is a human element to what's going on here, okay? I, I'm getting that because of some um, actions taken underground, it kind of triggered some of the seismic activity, which uh, th their intent on the part of the White Hats was not to have this occur. So it is a natural event, but it was triggered apparently by some conflict that's going on below ground with the chariot here moving. And that element that they're still working on is still showing up even in the near future. So with the devil card showing up here, now we're getting told, don't worry, this is uh, um, the actions that are being taken. Well, first of all, let's look here. The situation is being indicated by the nine of cups. So whatever actions have been taken in the recent past, okay, the situation is pretty satisfactory for those that are involved. Okay, and every effort is being taken to make sure there's a little or no collateral damage. Even the livestock in that town has been uh, relocated. So that's really good. Now with the uh, um, Eight of Cups showing up here, this often indicates a time of reflection and a time to um, kind of evaluate. And maybe that there's something that needs to be discovered or found. So I think in their efforts to find and stop some things, um, there is a process going on where there is some recovery 
in process, recovering some missing, and hopefully it's missing little ones. I'm thinking it is here because in the near future card, we've got the six of cups showing up, a card of uh, lovely uh, reconciliation and reunion, and uh, just very pure, pure love for little ones showing up here with this card. So I think there's that uh, what has happened is in the process of stopping some uh, little ones being moved in those tunnels and closing those tunnels, um, it triggered the seismic events that are happening on the surface because that is an active volcanic area or can be anyway. So it doesn't always take a lot. And there could be things happening too with the, uh, um, the changes happening with our earth. So there could have been issues that would cause the mantle to be shaken. And then where there's weak spots, there's gonna be increased activity. But if the reason for this action has been to, to look in uh, places not normally seen to find these little ones, then I know all of us are all for that. But yeah, we got the, the little ones showing up here is kind of part of the reason for what's going on. And uh, cups are our emotion card. We've got lots of cups going on here. And if you want to tug on anybody's emotions, have it be about little ones, right? Because when they're little, they're not anything but pure, simple, loving little energy that needs to be protected and guarded. And uh, the devil's showing up in the near future here. So again, just our ins major insight card is letting us know that there was shenanigans going on that is being stopped is being stopped and the shenanigans again uh, they're not going to be very uh candid about it king of cups indicates a lot of uh poker face going on so we're not going to hear more about this from the mainstream i wish i wish i wish i wish we could have some uh, little ones get rescued uh, besides the few that i've seen around um president putin in russia and have some of these rescued little ones just uh let their actions tell their story about how glad they are to be safe and how much they love those that, that save them. So God bless all of you White Hats that have had a hand in that through the last few years as we've been trying to reduce the numbers of those that are caught up in situations like that and uh, bring them to safety. God bless you, God bless you. Okay, I'm gonna get a couple more cards and see, but yeah, what I'm seeing is while the volcanic um, activity and earthquake activity is now pretty natural. It's a result of some cleanup and rescue efforts that were going on. Page of Swords is showing up. That's a truth card, okay? And uh, so yeah, the universe is pretty happy with uh, that we asked the question and they're sharing some truth with us and not filtering much of it today. Okay, so there's some information that is not quite apparent to us now. We're gonna be learning a little more about this and I hope part of that is, again, seeing uh, some of the results of this and maybe making escape routes a little less acceptable for those that considered them in the past to be elite. That would be fabulous too. Just because I'm curious, let's keep going. The universe knows I can do up to four of these. Page of Pentacles, that's a good card to show up and death. Okay, that's actually a good card to show up at this point in the reading and I'll explain that. Page of Pentacles is a card that always indicates uh, sovereignty and um, kind of benevolent energy the from loving sources, okay? Faithful provider. Death, very seldom is literally death, even though it is indicated in the card. It's usually about a long, slow change. So again, they're changing some travel routes. They're changing some formerly safe um, havens. And that's a good thing. So there are some there are some bunkers that are no longer accessible and available to those that would have used them, and uh, laughed at those of us struggling to uh, make the best of it here when things happen topside. So yay! Let's recap. There's been a lot of seismic activity in Iceland for the last 24 or 48 hours. Hundreds of very small quakes and all at a depth or depths that are consistent sometimes with what we see some man-made underground structures. Now that didn't necessarily mean that that's what's going on because seismic activity can occur. So we asked the universe, is there a human element to what's unfolding in Iceland with their volcanic activity, their seismic activity? If so, what? But just in general insights and information we appreciate it regardless. Well, here's what we got. 
Okay, we got that the uh, the situation is unfolding. In recent past, we had the chariot show up. That's a kind of a younger version of the emperor. Okay, says that there has been some military effort going on, so there is a human element to what's going on here. And this is a white hat card. So we had also looked in the course of looking at my compilation that there are some tunnels that go to bunkers in Greenland that go right through Iceland. So wonder, what we got was kind of that, what happened is that, that uh, the activity that was happening underground has triggered that seismic activity, has triggered that volcano just because the mantle is um, not too uh, uh, firm there. It, it is prone to activity. The, uh, so they, they were looking for something. And uh, what they were looking for is little ones. And this is a card that indicates reconciliation and reunion. So there has been some rescues that went on. Uh, the uh, inside card let us know that these were little ones that were caught up uh, with evildoers, okay? We also got an indication that we're still as usual. <laughs> Not gonna hear the full story on mainstream, even though I'd love to have some of that come out in disclosures because that is what will unite the people of the world is wanting to defend and protect little ones, okay? The uh, Page of Swords showed up, a card of truth and diplomacy. So part of the reason we don't get the disclosure again, it's just some of it's diplomatic. And I've always just cautioned people, even though we say we want full disclosure, we're not going to get it for one very special reason that no one should argue about. If someone has been a victim of heinous crimes and they don't want their name or their face to be in the public eye, they should have that right. Every other right was taken from them. They should have that right. So we want as much disclosure as all but unwilling victims are willing to get. So in other words, no hiding for the perpetrators, but let's honor the possible victims and say, I don't, I just want to get on with my life. I just want therapy. I want to be reunited with my family. I don't want to be anybody's hero. You know, I want to move past this. I don't want the public eye. We need to honor that. So let's all move away from saying we want full disclosure because we're not going to get that. But it should be for that one good reason only, in my opinion, Laura's view. Okay, now uh, it looks like <laughs> there's some changes going on um, under our uh, feet with some tunnels that were still accessible for escape routes and what have you that are being uh, um, closed and... So that was a good thing. So what I got again is that while we're seeing some natural activity with the earthquakes and the um, volcanic action, it's a result of things that were happening in other ways. Closing a tunnel or some tunnel conflict, what have you, something that happened under the surface triggered this because the mantle is a little unstable in that area, that region. Is it being capitalized on? by the powers it used to be. I don't know, let's see if they start talking about a uh, uh, coming back with a smart city there or something, then we'd know for sure. But in the meantime, what I'm seeing is they're trying to do everything possible to keep um, innocent um, people, civilians safe as these, you know, throughout this process of the volcanic and earthquake activity. And that's a good thing. And uh, um, if there's a distraction element, like I said, just don't buy into it. Keep looking at other places. If you were following other major um, items of interest, keep following them. Don't get distracted. They always try to give us our trauma or chaos or sigh up of the week, right? Well, we can multitask. We can keep an eye on Iceland and still be watching to see what's happening uh, <clears throat> with the budget here and the subpoenas there and whatever it might be. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And with the help of my loving creator, I can say and mean to each and every one of you watching this, I wish you love, light, everything bright.